Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Tuesday after the bank run, Monday. Um, wow, some fun volatility in all of this mess. Let's look at stocks first. Uh, this is the hourly chart. You see this sucker went down to 38.40 then went all the way up to 39.40 and then closed to 39.10 on the dailies what does that look like that's like a big volatile day close below the open um, so a bearish day but could have been a lot worse you see this went two and a half sigma down here at 38.40 you don't see that too often in the S&P uh, it's usually a good indicator to fade. We did fade risk yesterday. Uh, decent day. Could have been better. Uh, Euro Swiss was our main fade. Um, we're just concerned about what the hell is going to happen with Credit Suisse. And we thought the market might get caught with their pants down. Um, piling into Swiss francs. Gold is a much better, safer play to uh, go into safety. You saw this up to 1914. Gold today is a, is a buy uh, down at 1890. So between 1890 and 1880, you want to buy some gold today. Let's show the dollar max because that was just insane yesterday. Where is she? 1894. This sucker, um, you know, literally uh, broke 19 and went up 15 or 17 and a half big figures in like a minute. Um, this is a market where everyone is short uh, and just took the brunt of basically panic and fear-based squaring. The reason we bring this up is this is a this is a sell now, right? I mean, uh, U.S. rates are going lower, so we're bearish dollars, kind of going forward into the medium term. Uh, the economics in Mexico haven't changed at all. Uh, this is just a massive, irrational squaring of a conviction position. Uh, so we will be selling dollar max. Anywhere, uh, so let's say today between 1905 and 1915, uh, looking to be core short <coughs> dollar max going forward. Let's look at crypto. Sort of painful uh, considering that you know we own this shit at 1405, and now it's 1700, uh, and our profit was just pathetic uh, but crypto looks great uh, this lower rates combined with like in air quotes uh, banking problems uh, is great for crypto you can see this basically 300 bucks 20 percent ethereum matic less so uh, i wish you know matic's lagging a little bit i was I was on the phone last night with the guys from Avex, uh, who's like a big competitor of Matic. Um, and it's just unclear why Matic and or Avex hasn't, uh, this is the Avex chart, which is, a, which is even weaker than the Matic chart, um, haven't got their shit together. But both of these are infrastructure coins. Um, you know, we prefer we prefer Matic. No offense to my guys at Avex. Um, it's kind of the same same type of coin, um, same type of infrastructure play. But Ethereum, just ripping it. Let's go to Bitcoin real quick. Uh, we don't own this, but we do trade it, of course, like because we we trade everything. Um, keep an eye on twenty five. Let's call it three fifty. Still a thousand bucks away, but um, 
this is a big big level right so this is this is your bear market consolidation bang 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 25 down to 15 this ten thousand dollar range uh, you could argue that a break up through this you know probably going to lead to 30,000 quite quickly especially now that it looks like US rates are fucked anyway we got CPI today um, our theme is just trying to get short dollars dollar yen up uh, we've just sold some up here uh, about an hour ago we're going to be core short dollar yen this should the top should be sort of 134 and a quarter um, this is your pure interest rate play euro euro we also like being long uh, we were long yesterday you know like as we said on the video we bought down at 80 um, we sold up around 18 euros just it's just less sexy, right? I mean, it just doesn't move as much. It's just too deep, I guess. I don't know. Um, we didn't quite fill that gap, but 48 did trade. Uh, that was a bit surprising to us. So we wore some pain um, on the way down to 50. But we also didn't get given at 44, um, which was annoying. Uh, tricky day. I would say tricky day uh, in Euro yesterday, but we think Euro is just going to grind higher now. So makes sense to us to try and collect Euros in that region yesterday. We still haven't closed that gap. These gaps tend to be closed, especially in Euro dollar. So if you do see Euro um, down below 50, say between 50 and 15, so 106.15, 106.15 is a really sexy place to buy. We talked about uh, gold, buying gold down near 90. Um, Euro Swiss. We're going to play the same thing. We're worried about Swiss francs. We're worried about Credit Swiss. Um, Ninety-seven fifty today will be on the bid in Euro Swiss. Uh, I don't want to like make some hysterical claims on on what might happen uh, with any kind of Swiss bank because these these things are sacred. Um, but damn, doesn't look that great. And if you um, if you were a billionaire, would you you know would you have your money there? There's like two hundred other Swiss banks that are unleveraged, that are perfectly fine, that are the most boring, stupid, um, beautiful banks in the world. <clears throat> and then you have Credit Suisse, which is like nursing a stock price approaching zero. Uh, so we're a little bit worried about Swiss francs, especially with dollar Swiss down near the lower band, which we would say is 90 centimes. Um, so we'll be picking up some Euro Swiss with that in mind. Plus, of course, it's also stretched. Two and a half sigma is 50 as well. Um, just watching that, see how it goes. Euro Sterling also getting a bit stretched. Um, you could probably buy this down first time down to 87.60 if you feel like it. Cable's had a nice, nice move higher from the. Uh, the 118 lows up quick 360 points are we going to break this 122.76 i definitely do think so um and you know it's sort of pick your poison right this gap did not get filled what do you want to sell dollars against um uh, today yen is our horse but um, we're happy to buy gold on a dip. We'll be looking to buy euros if it goes dippy dippy. Um, cable is basically the same trade. Uh, obviously, keep in mind CPI is out today. CPI is uh, is less interesting to us now just because this banking crisis has taken over. And even if CPI is is comes in a little bit hot, which we've 
very, very, very unexpected. Um, there are bigger, uh, bigger elephants in the room right now for the Fed to tackle. Uh, so, anyway, uh, you know, you don't want to walk into CPI with a big packet of dollars on long or short, but uh, we will go in, you know, short, short smalls. All right, so like all I got for you guys today. Good luck out there. Uh, go ahead and make some dough. It's going to be a, it's been a, already a fun trading week. It's going to be a wild and fun volatile week. So, uh, good luck.